On my desk today is the Lumentop Tiger, and this is hands down one of the highest output lights Lumentop has ever produced, and also one of the brightest in the world. So if you're in need of a light that can produce a heck of a lot of lumens and throw at an incredibly far distance, this is definitely a light that should be on your radar. Today we're going to be reviewing the light specs and features, taking a look at some beam shots, and putting it head to head against the Ace Beam X75, which is one of only a few competitors in its class. But before we dive in, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, so let's take a look at the Tiger. It's made from aluminum with a Type 3 hard anodization, and there's some very aggressive knurling across the body and some large squares on the tube. In an attempt to make the Tiger a bit easier to wield and more comfortable to carry for long periods of time, Lumentop added a carrying handle, which can easily be removed with a flathead screwdriver. There's a backlit rubber side switch which controls the different modes, and the light comes with Android UI which is set to smooth ramping, but you also have the ability to switch to step mode sets and a double press will bring you directly to turbo. If you're not familiar with smooth ramping, it basically gives you very precise control over the output so you can more easily find a level that's suited for your needs at the time. Unscrewing the tremendously large tail cap will reveal an LED display, which will let you know the remaining battery life as a percentage, as well as the charging voltage and the current, and I find that having the display is a really nice touch. Lumentop also built power bank capabilities into the Tiger, and there's a bi-directional USB-C input-output that can be used to charge the Tiger's batteries and also can be used to charge your own personal electronic devices. There's also a USB-A QC 3.0 output, and you can charge two devices simultaneously, and overall the charging specs are really impressive and it can support up to 5 amps. It has adaptive charging current adjustment and built-in overcharge protection. Anyways, I really like the way the ports and the display are protected by the tail cap and this should really help to keep dust and moisture out of the ports, which will help to improve the light's longevity and being able to use this battery to charge your other gear is a really nice feature to have as well. Charging the Tiger is incredibly quick considering the capacity of the batteries and you can fully charge the light in about an hour and a half with the included 65 watt adapter or you can pick up an optional 100 watt adapter and charge the Tiger in an hour. You can also unscrew the head of the Tiger to access the batteries and you need a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to remove the cover and inside you'll find four unprotected flat top 5000 milliamp hour 21700 batteries which combine for a total of 20,000 milliamp hours which is a serious amount of power and although it's a relatively inconvenient process you do get the benefits of being able to remove and replace cells which is a really nice feature. There's a bit of crenulation on the bezel and it's got a glass lens with an anti-reflective coating and it has orange peel reflectors and and in the center, there's a single D-domed Cree XHP 70.3, which is more of a throwy emitter, and seven Cree XHP 70.2s for a total of eight emitters. It's dark outside, so now it's time to take the Tiger out so you can see what it's made of. As always, we're gonna start off on turbo, and on this mode, the Tiger has a max output of 58,000 lumens, a peak intensity of 433,000 candela, and a max throw distance of 1,315 meters. The hotspot is really intense, and this is definitely courtesy of the XHP 70.3 emitter, and the beam angle is average, and the product is a nice combination style beam pattern with a hot spot that really helps the light to excel at long distance use. There is no built in cooling fan on the Tiger and after about a minute of use you will start to feel some heat creeping down the tube and around a minute and a half or so the light will start to get uncomfortably hot to hold with your bare hands but if you hold the light by the handle you'll be able to carry it comfortably for longer periods of time. It's not every day that a light with these kinds of specs comes across my desk but if you need a light for illuminating really large areas and want to be able to see everything very well you're going to be hard pressed to find a light that that will accomplish this task like the Tiger. The Tiger also holds up really well with ambient lighting and provides plenty of illumination to areas that are already somewhat lit, so a light like this would be useful in the city and in urban environments as well. There's also a 6.5 lumen step moonlight mode, which seems like a reasonable level considering the upper ends of this light's output potential, and this mode has a max run time of 40 days. You can perform up close tasks like reading, but unless you're really strong, this light is too heavy to comfortably hold for any real length of time, so you might be better off resting the Tiger on its tail and using it as more of an area light. Now there aren't a whole lot of lights on the market with outputs above 50,000 lumens, but the light that I have that's most comparable to the Tiger is the Ace Beam X75, which has a max output of 80,000 lumens, 
And both of these lights are priced very similarly and share many of the same specs and performance related features, with the main difference being a built-in battery and a cooling fan on the X75. The hotspot on the Tiger is significantly more intense compared to the X75, and as a result, you're gonna get better performance at long distance, but the beam angle is definitely wider on the X75, and you're gonna be able to see a much wider area at mid-range distances with this light. At the end of the day, the Tiger is probably a bit excessive for the needs of most people, but for those of you who are chasing lumens and wanna own one of the most powerful lights on the market, the Tiger is a really interesting option to consider. Due to its extreme size and weight, it would not be a great backpacking light, but it would be well suited to keep in your vehicle or a light to light up your backyard and scare people or animals off your property. If you want to pick one up, there's a link to my store down in the description below, and you can save 10% on the Tiger with the coupon code US10. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting flashlight reviews coming soon.